Hey everyone, it's Tiara from Shop Like Me. So today's video is a little different than my normal, which is, uh, you know, doing the deal shopping, the clearance shopping, um, uh, showing you how I list stuff and resell online. Um, I haven't gotten into finance videos yet, but you know, finance is my industry that I'm actually in, finance and insurance. Um, and then I, I did a video, I think I did a video on food. I do a video doing her hair, beauty videos on makeup and stuff like that. So this video is different. I have a lot of interests, if you haven't noticed. Um, so trying to narrow down my channel while my channel's still new and trying to figure out, you know, what my niche is gonna be. Calm down, quit jumping on the couch. Sit down, huh? sit down. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, DIY home stuff since COVID happened just to try to keep me sane, um, keep the anxiety at bay. So um, yeah, I've been working on my house, doing stuff myself, learning myself, using the University of YouTube uh, to learn stuff, plus just my knowledge I had from when I was younger because um, my mom and my stepdad rehabbed houses pretty much. They could pretty much build a house from the ground up and do every single thing themselves in it. Um, very, very, quit jumping on the couch, please. Sit down, we're recording a video. Yeah. Um, so I am trying to learn this stuff now. I wish I would have learned it when I was younger, but I didn't because obviously, you know, a teenager is not trying to rehab houses. Um, they're trying to have fun and work and, you know, do all those things of being a teen. So I'm in some raggedy clothes because I am going to whitewash this humongous fireplace. So I believe it's like fireplace? a fireplace. I believe it's a 10 foot it a fireplace. fireplace. I'm not quite sure um i just want to modernize it update it uh so i'm probably gonna paint uh paint the ledge i'm gonna paint the ledge white i thought about boxing it in but i'm not quite sure if i have those skills or those tools yet to do that uh but i thought you know making it more of like a square boxed edge would modernize it but we'll just see how the white paint works at first and then if i need to go back and change the mantle i will um i don't love obviously the brass around there but when we had a fireplace person come and inspect it and clean it when we bought the house they said that it was an extremely expensive insert so it's not something i want to just take out like other youtube videos do they normally just take it out and that's it or whatever so i thought about possibly painting the edges um i would like a chrome maybe but i might have to do black like i thought about stainless steel or black but i need to make sure whatever can withstand heat i don't ever use my fireplace because i don't want the house to smell like a fireplace but um plus i am scared to use it because they said that can get out of hand and it gets extremely hot it actually has a dial on the wall that you can control temperature um because it locks into place and it has ways to let air out or heat and stuff out and yeah you can control it with the dial on the wall so they said it could easily get out of hand when we first looked at the house when we were gonna buy it it smelled like the house had caught on fire before and that was from the fireplace it hadn't actually caught on fire but it was the fireplace was dirty we had to get that cleaned um in order to get insurance on the house um so we got that all cleaned up and you know that was the stuff he told us there's also something uh something else about it but you know i'm too scared to touch it <laughs> because of that i'm not familiar with fireplaces like that but i am going to try to update the fireplace and make it look nicer so i am going to first i'm going to vacuum the brick get all this dust build up off and then i'm going to spray it let me grab my supplies i'm going to spray it with some cleaner this is a degreaser i use uh just a, i think it was from home depot i believe just a regular degreaser i'm going to use i don't know if that's correct for brick but that's what i'm using today and she is all dressed for painting as well. So I got her in some regular ah. clothes because she likes to help paint. So I'm pretty sure she's gonna be picking up a brush and helping me because the videos I watched on YouTube, it should be pretty easy. So I'm gonna clean it with this. Hopefully this works. I've seen a lot of people didn't actually clean their fireplace. And then some people used an abrasive uh, cleaner, a TSP cleaner, and then some people use just whatever cleaner. So I'm gonna use this. I think this will be good enough. Um, I don't think it's all that dirty. There's not a lot of soot build up. Baby, please get down. Also going to be taping off the fireplace, taping off the walls, taping off the carpet. Um, there's the blue tape, which you're used to. It's cheaper. Frog tape, 
excellent. I haven't done videos on all my other painting and painting the cabinets, but this stuff will change your life. These lines are so crisp. Not that it's gonna matter with this fireplace, but I'm just telling you. I'm gonna use a wet rag. I'm gonna keep this wet so I have it so I can wipe off paint if I feel that it's too dark um, or too thick. I also heard that after it sits on there, it soaks in, and so it's not as dark as it appears when you first put it on. But still, I'm a little scared about this because I do like brick as is. So transforming my fireplace, um, I'm kind of scared because, you know, you can't really undo that. And so I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess up the brick. So I'm going to keep this wet to rub off because I am going to be freaking out at first. Uh, I'm just using some old paintbrushes that have already been used. Ooh, the They've already been used because I'm going to be getting into the grout lines. So wow, wow, wow. Anyways, so I'm just going to use these. I did see a video where someone used a sponge, and I actually thought that looked a lot easier, and I thought the end result looked really good. So I might be trying a sponge. Um, I'm going to do paint. Everybody says a half and half mixture between white paint and um, it has to be a latex white paint and water. I did see some people said 70 30 ratio, so it'd be 30% paint, 70% water. I think I'm gonna go with that because, like I said, I want to go lighter at first and I can always do another coat uh, versus going darker. So I'm gonna do more water at first if. I feel like I can add more paint. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some more paint to it. I'm kinda gonna eye it. Just like how I cook, how I bake. Well, not so much bake. But just how I cook. I eyeball it. Let's sprinkle a little bit more. No, 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 put some more. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today with the painting. Um, so everybody, wish me luck. Um, it's gonna be minimal editing in this. I'm definitely gonna speed stuff up because obviously it's gonna take a while. Um, and then definitely editing this while she's, you know, singing and in the camera and all that. But you know, thanks you guys for watching. Before I even start this video, I want to make sure you like this video. See, last time I was backwards, so I think I'm gonna be backwards again. Like this video. Like this video. I don't know. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna tell you that now before the end of the video, but I hopefully you learn something, you like it. Hopefully it's a good video. I don't know. You, I mean, you're obviously at the uh, YouTube University also. So good luck to you and your project. You got this. I also forgot to mention, I just took all my Christmas stuff down like super late. And so I'm like, oh, it's so fresh and clean. And like all that junk is out of the way. I know how I feel, so I felt like while well, all the stuff is down before I put my normal stuff back up, uh, I might as well go ahead and get this painting done that I've been wanting to do for the past year. So I forgot to mention that. I'm going to have to edit this and put that back in there somewhere. But Okay, here we go. Right. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop this video because I took off the vent and I found no get away I found a bunch of my daughter's spoons in the vent so we're gonna stop this video so I can send her daddy a picture hi mommy of this all these spoons look at that they're down in there too oh oh I found a toy there's a credit card there too a toy credit card all right, we'll pause this video. So I'm taking the vents off uh, so I can start cleaning so I can paint. And then I took the vents off. What did I find? A bunch of baby spoons. And, oh, there's a little nail, nail polish thing I do. And then, oh, her little toy credit card down in there. So, uh, yeah. Were we missing some spoons? Because I found five of them now i'm interested to see what the other vent shows since i uh took this off the off the tripod ring light <laughs> so that uh i could record this for my husband to show him what's in the vents i'm gonna go ahead and record this up close so you don't miss what i'm doing i did uh vacuum out the other one after i removed all the toys and spoons i vacuumed that out and I'm gonna vacuum this one out next. 
other screw doesn't want to come out. So you guys can see closer up. Okay, I went and got a regular screwdriver. And it's working, so I'm unscrewing it. You got a boo-boo, you got a flu shot. Okay, let's take this off and see what's in here. It's stuck on here. So you can see like the little pieces of stone that kind of like fall off. So you don't want that while you're painting. So that's why I'm trying to take all this off. So little pieces don't come out of nowhere while I'm painting. This one's much more difficult. Okay, nothing in there. See all this stuff that goes to the fire. I'm getting ready to spray it with some TSB. So uh, I guess I'll look at the timestamp on this video and see how long it actually took me so I can let you guys know. I think the cleaning is supposed to take longer than the painting, but we'll see. It might be a little challenging with the height and not being able to get in there. Um, but I'll figure it out. I filled a bucket with some water and I'm going to clean this up. Let me put some pants on my daughter because uh, I'm not trying to get my video blocked. A lot of it is the uh, actual spray though, because you see how much I used. A lot. <clears throat> I take off most everything I'm about to do underneath the mantle right now. I am going to be painting the mantle, but I don't want like extra globs of paint or like drips and stuff on there that I have to sand off later. So I am going to take that off and then I'm going to tape around this, uh, this thing, the opening. I'm going to tape around that since I can't get the sides off. I got the top part off, but I did not get the sides off. So I'm going to tape around that. And then I'm going to use this. Um, I did tape around the, I don't know if you can see it. I did tape around the carpet at the bottom, but considering some carpet like pops through, I do have like this guard thing for painting. I'm going to use this as well to help me just to keep it from the edges of the carpet because that will drive me crazy. So I am going to tape the rest of this stuff off. Okay, so I did a mixture of paint and water, um, and I did it, I don't want to use these brushes, but I did it in this cup here. So I feel to paint I probably around right here. Probably around right here, and then I filled the water up through here. So I figure that's about 70-30, right? So we'll see what it looks like. I'm putting this tub for extra protection and I have these wet rags in the tub. So let's see how this works. Okay, here's my midway thoughts. 20 minutes into this, okay? Um, this is what I guess people, people on YouTube were saying, you get to that point where you see part of it. You can't see the whole thing. You see part of it and you see it up next to the old brick and you're scared. <laughs> That's me, because when I take a step back and look at it, 
I hate it. I hate it. Um, I feel like my brick is like a different, gotta be like a different texture or something. It's like not getting in there. So I went back, added more paint. You saw me do that. I added more paint um, and I was trying to get it whiter because it was just, you couldn't see it at all. And I really don't wanna do a second coat because this is a really big fireplace. So I added more to do it. I might still have to do a second coat because I'm not liking it. We'll see how the finished product when it's all done looks, but I'm terrified because it was a beautiful fireplace, just dated. I'm just trying to update it and brighten the room. I mean, other than that, it is a beautiful fireplace, but, um, so yeah, uh, right now I'm scared. <laughs> right now I don't like it. Um, right now I'm regretting my decision. So we'll keep going and, uh, pray that I like it at the end because right now it's not looking too good. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, and by the way, it is really messy. The water paint splashes all over the place. I got it on my Apple Watch. Okay, I'll keep trying. Ain't nothing I can do now, I gotta finish. Okay, and I'm gonna do a second coat. This was my first coat of whitewash uh, the next day after it's dried. Um, I did notice down here where the paint had like almost like settled to the bottom of my container. Um, so I didn't know that that happens. So like it kind of separated. So then it came out darker. And then like by the time I got to the side, it was almost like I was putting on just straight paint. So then I took water and was trying to brush that off. I don't remember if I gave that update yesterday. Um, and so then I was trying to even it out a little bit more because it is wider than the rest but i'm hoping that second coat will fix that plus i just i don't like it i don't like the look of it um i definitely want it wider so i'm gonna do that and then i know i forgot to mention that's not actually white it's more like an off-white it's a color that i used on my kitchen cabinets and on my trim in the house and also on a railing to my stairs um so i've been using that white all over or that off-white all over um so yeah, I'm hoping I get a better look with this next one. Also, it is not, I don't think it's latex paint. So I don't know if I'm doing that wrong or not because I heard you could just use any paint around your house, but then I've also heard it had to be latex paint. 
So I don't know as far as that aspect. Um, it does have kind of like a chalky-ish look and I think it's just because it is so thin. So I'm gonna do that second layer. I really wanted to avoid doing a second layer, but I do want it um, wider. There's just a little bit too much brick showing up for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start on that second layer and pray to God that I like it better. Uh, so we'll see. Already my husband says it looks better. Um, I'm not really in agreement with that yet, but I'm hoping for the best. So we will see. These bricks here, the grout line looks darker. But when I wipe it off, I feel like I'm getting the exact same look that I have down here. So I don't think I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to look at the other side and see if it's dried a little bit and see what that looks like. I mean, I do like the whiter grouter line, grout line, but I wanted the brick to be whiter too. So I feel like I wiped that right back off. So I don't think I'm going to do this wiping technique. Look at it because... I want to make sure I can still see the dimension of the color. So I want to make sure I can still see the, like this black brick here plus the red brick here. So I want to see the color dimension. So I don't want it to be too white. So I'm trying to figure out if I should go back over it with a little bit of water on my paintbrush or if it's going to absorb. So let me see it dry a little bit. So I just got some water. I'm going to try this. I didn't think this was going to be this difficult. All these videos I watch on YouTube, that was real easy. Now I don't know if they're OCD like me. Maybe it's my OCD-ness. I don't know, but um, no, I just don't want to mess it up. It is brick. <laughs> it scares me. I'm still scared, guys. I've already done it, and I'm scared. I'm gonna use the raggedy paintbrush again to do in between those holes because it just really messes it up. We're gonna let this dry and we're gonna see how this looks. I decided to do a separate video showing painting the mantle and spray painting the brass around the fireplace. So make sure to check those videos out.